Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Flash Attack Reviews. I am your host, Frankie Minion. Today we got for you Defend Your Castle by XGen Studios. This was requested by DStorm77. Sorry people, we haven't had a video in a long while, about two weeks to be exact. But because of the big snowstorm that's put half the country out of power slash whatever, we haven't really been able to make a new video and we've just been busy and luckily all the stuff melted and everything's got back to working again it's been a real pain in the ass so your kingdom is under attack and you must defend your kingdom from the attackers in order to defeat the attackers you have to pick them up and toss them in the air overall the audio is pretty good nothing special nothing great the graphics Nothing special, nothing great. They're not... They're just stick figures. And I know that's the purpose of the game, but... Oh well. For the fun, we gave it a one star. It's fun for the first maybe 10-15 minutes. But then it gets very repetitive. And then when the uh, swarms of stick figures come... Clicking on them, is, it gets hard because you're rushing to toss them up in the air and you miss them. And then sometimes you toss them up in the air and they don't go high enough. And then what upgrades you got, which is the repair, fortify, the archery range, demolition, workshop, and your mana pool. All that, it's cool, but it's hard to get to because it takes very, probably maybe seven or eight levels to get up to the smallest of the upgrades which is not good so we get to the difficulty this game has no flow it goes from extremely easy to pretty hard the stick people just get too hard to click on and like I said they won't die as for the length we really don't know how long this is I've gotten to around 30 or so and someone told us they got to 300 I don't know if they're lying but after a while it gets extremely boring so here at flash attack reviews we give this game a 5 out of 10 thank you everyone and have a good night